days after an incident involving an electric, electric scooter killed a Dallas man, we're now hearing from the rideshare driver who ended up coming to his aid. That driver says the man's death may be the result of more than just a fall. Our Steve Pickett live from Old East Dallas along Munger and Terry with what she had to say. Steve? Yeah, that victim, Jacoby Stone King, he was riding right here. When he fell, he called his friend to say, get a Lyft driver to pick me up. I've fallen off of this scooter. That driver arrived here, and she described to me what she saw, and she believes police need to do more to investigate this man's death. He was having convulsions, trouble breathing. His chest was sinking in along with his throat. Caitlin Sorrells knew Jacoby Stone King was in trouble, but she found him lying on the curb unconscious. What shocked her was the fact the same man spoke to her by phone just minutes prior, asking the Lyft rideshare driver to pick him up. He told her he'd fallen off an electric scooter. I was like, well, are you okay? He says, I'm banged up pretty bad. Get here as fast as you can, please. Jacoby Stone King would be declared deceased by the next day. His family said he suffered a traumatic blow to the head, but they questioned a the fall from a scooter as the only cause. Sorrells today said she told the responding DPD officer the same thing. When he did show up, he asked me what I gathered of the situation. And I told him I don't see how he could have fallen off of the scooter. There was no scooter around him. There was no debris around him. It was just him. The scooter was found a block down the street. It was in pieces. DPD detectives returned to this scene today, searching for any sign of a possible hit and run. I say that as a hit and run. Or maybe he did fall off and then they clipped him on accident and just got scared and took off. But somebody could speak up. Why? What could I have done to have helped him? And I, I just wish I could have done more. Uh, the city of Dallas that cleared the way to provide access to these scooters on city streets declined any comment regarding any of this today when I contacted them. The company that provided these scooters, they did recently release a statement today and it says as follows that uh, we are deeply saddened to hear the report of this incident in Dallas. Our thoughts and sympathies are with the family and loved ones and we are awaiting the results of the investigation and we will cooperate fully with the authorities. The authorities at this juncture are, are the Dallas Police Department. And what I was told today by detectives, they're just reviewing what they've seen thus far is an unf unfortunate accident causing one man's death. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.